Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a Will Addict. Welcome to another video on the channel. You already know what we're going to be talking about and this is it. This is the Kaiser Aluminum Soul Frame. And this is something that I was actually very curious to try. So if you don't know exactly what this is, if you're just watching these without knowing what this is, type of stuff is about or what the Kaiser aluminum sole frame is well there are some skates out there called UFS skates that some of them have a completely flat bottom something like this see this skate right here is completely flat on the bottom and a UFS skate usually has 167 millimeters between those two holes that you saw on that boot and usually on something like that you can use a sole plate like this. This is a sole plate. It's a piece of plastic most of the times. And then it has a UFS frame. And the sole plate, a lot of times in a skate like that, it's, it's like the ham on a sandwich where this is one bread, this is the other part of the bread, and this thing goes in the middle. Something like that. Now, this sole frame, it's basically something very new there's no two pieces it's a one piece construction you don't need a sole you don't need a sole frame and a frame and that's why it's called a sole frame when i first saw these my initial thought was amazing i really wish it was made out of plastic that was honestly my first thought but i'm actually very curious to test it so i went out and tested and let me tell you I'm a little bit confused by my feelings on this. To start with, it felt extremely responsive, especially on a carbon boot like the one that I was using. It felt super fast, it really felt fast. I was using these, these are the fastest wheels that I have. These are the famous 60 millimeter wheels with aluminum core and it really felt fast. The tire is very small, the tire on these wheels very small with a big aluminum core with the aluminum only like this is a aluminum 6000 series sole frame with aluminum core with ILQ9 bearings with the wicked ILQ9 bearings then on a on a carbon boot it was very very stiff, very very fast. Awesome. On tricks like age block tricks, I'm going to tell you that I didn't really skate that much on cement stuff. On the skating piece on this video, you see this little thing that goes cornered. That's made of cement. And this is something that I actually really enjoyed over some of the um, other aluminum frames with aluminum blocks on the market. The other options that we have on the market usually are very square in the age blocks. So when they're completely new, it's even stickier if you are going to use an aluminum age block on a cement obstacle. So because this one is kind of round, it allowed me to grind, but to be fully honest with you, I wasn't really confident. And I'm going to introduce for the first time in this video and probably the first time in this channel, a word which is unpredictability. I cannot predict what's going to happen and this is something that it's one of the main reasons that I may have not enjoyed these as much. Because as I just said, I really, really, really enjoy the speed. Like if I'm gonna be skating a ball or something like that, it's amazing. It's just every single push that you do on a, on a corner, every single little carve, it really, I would say that these would skate like a, like a urban skate, which is something that I really love. Like those big wheels, just to fill in the ground. You can do that with this. With a carbon boot, especially, you really feel like, yeah, it's super responsive, super fast, it's awesome. In terms of grinding, as I was just saying, when I do age block tricks, the age block is perfect. If you know the skates, the, the USDAN, if you like that type of skate, this is exactly what I see here. This is a, a USDAN sole frame, basically. I actually cut a sole frame 
from a pair of USDANs a couple of months ago. Let me check if I still have it. <laughs> I can't find it. It's lost somewhere. I don't really know what it is. It's a case to say, have you seen Johnny? <laughs> no, but I don't really know what it is. The thing is, when I made that soul frame, I had no way to, to mount that other than drilling some holes here on the side and I would need to drill some holes on the boot. That's what I did on, on some Seva CJs in order to put that. When they made these, they made it in a way that you have one hole here, one hole here, and you can just mount it UFS. Now, this is the part one of two videos that I'm going to be doing with this because there's two different ways of mounting these. Until now, I skated them in a UFS carbon boot, flat bottom, as I just said, but this can also be skated in other boots, such as the Salomon boots, and then you have the different holes here to mount them on a completely different boot, and I'm pretty sure they might feel completely different. So. That's going to be a part two video, but now I'm talking about my experience with these on a carbon boot skate. As I just said, flat bottom, I actually put something that I cut. It's got a piece of an insole, like a very slim insole that I had laying around, and I put it here in between these and the boot, just to sound a bit like more poof and not clacky. Yeah, I guess after skating the Mesmers, I don't want to skate more clacky skates. So that's why I made that. The age block feels very similar to the Aeons, which means that it's, you have plenty of space. It's a long age block and you don't seem to get wheel bite easy. So you saw me doing backslides, you saw me doing torques. And now since I spoke about backslides, let me bring back the unpredictability word again. So basically, when I did torques, I felt like I could control them. I don't know exactly why, maybe because of this little piece of plastic that it comes here on the side, like a little strip that you can, you can screw it in or take it out. It's just like a little sole plate that you have, like a sole fin. I don't know how to call this, but when I did a torque, because this part was touching, but this was the first part touching, I could actually somehow control them. I couldn't do them if I was going very slow, because when I tried them slow, I ended up going to some other grind, but if I would go faster, I could do torques. But on backslides, because the metal was going in front, I somehow couldn't control them as good. Like it, and it's a trick that I usually control it good. I, I can say that it's one of my safe tricks to do a backslide, especially, especially on a flat rail or on a coping. It's something that I, I can do quite good, but I couldn't really control it with this, with this frame for some reason. I, I really think it's because of the age block, but I'm not going to say it's not possible or anything like that. Once again, I'm not used to these and because I'm not as used, it's not as predictable as I'm used to. So when I do something on a a plastic frame with the plastic, with a with a plastic soap plate. I'm just so used to that that I know how it's going to react. Now this is something new for me. So because it's new, I just don't control it as easy, at least yet. But something that I did not understand about these is soles. I do not understand why, but every single time that I did a soul trick, if this is my soul my sole foot, the other one, if I'm doing a sole grind, if the front foot goes on a slide and the back foot on a grind, like a sole grind, that would be super, super fast. Like, honestly, it felt really fast. I could do like sole tricks, like sole, top acid, but this was on, on, a, on a rail, like on a, on a flat bar. But if I would do something like, where the front foot, the foot sliding in front was the sole and then the back foot was just coming behind like a Mizu, then it somehow felt extremely sticky, like really, really sticky. I don't know exactly why, but whenever, the first time I tried a Mizu, I almost front flipped out of it. I don't know if I put too much pressure here on the side and not enough on this sole fin or on this sole plate, I don't know exactly why, but I do know that the first time, as I just said, the first time I tried a, a Mizu, I almost front flipped out of like, just 
And then I started getting a little bit more used to it and I, I ended up getting them, but they don't slide as smooth when the front foot is on the sole as a plastic frame that I have just here. Now, when did I felt this again? When I started trying alley-oop tricks. The first time that I tried to do an alley-oop sole on a very low ledge, like a little curb, it's like I locked in and I got right away stuck. So it's like, right away. I ended up getting some alley-oop soles. So in the intro video, you, you see me doing a little alley-oop sole on a coping and then drop in to do the torque. But the truth is, even on that, if you look at it at the end, you feel like you see like it's sticky. Also, when I tried the alley-oop top acid, you see the first alley-oop top acid I do in the video was actually the second one that I've done because I was a lot in the front of the, um, of the soul of the soul plate like on the top side foot i was like leaning forward but when i try to do the regular top acid that i usually do where i center my weight i felt so sticky that was the second clip that i you see from a uh, alley top acid on a coping on the entry video so on that one i got right away sticky so again I'm just so used to skating something different as a plastic frame and a, a plastic sole plate that when I get something like this, it's very, very unpredictable, especially for me. Maybe if you're starting to skate from scratch with this, then you will not have this problem, if you can call this a problem. I think I would really need a lot more time to adjust to these. I really think there's a learning curve to skate something like this. Now, something that I actually really enjoyed was negative tricks. So when I do negative tricks, I do not have this sole fin, sole frame, once again, whatever you want to call it, it's just metal on metal. And I'm not going to say it's extremely fast, but I somehow felt it was more predictable, maybe because of the whole aluminum. I, I don't know exactly why. I don't know how to explain why. Yes, when I did a negative macu, I felt it sticky, but I could still do it. Now with these, some tricks were fast, some were slower, and I couldn't really understand the reason why. Example, when I did a fish brain with this, the fish brain felt so good. Even when I did a top acid on that little corner thing on the clip that you just saw, it did felt super good, it felt super fast. So I'm still trying to understand what's happening here. If I need to share my opinions about this, well, as I just said, it's gonna be part one. I'm gonna take a couple of weeks till I put part two out where I'm gonna try these on a Solomon skate. So when I skated these as a UFS, maximum wheels that I can do is flat 60. I know that when I put these on a, on a Solomon boot, using these bolts here on the side, I'm gonna be able to use these as a four times 64. Is that what I want? Not really, I'll probably keep the same wheels, but it's a little bit more that the frame will give you. I guess the, the problem that I have right now is really that I do not know how they're going to react. I jump into a rail and it's like jumping into the unknown because I'm not used to this. When I skate something that it's like coping, if I'm going to do mainly like frontside tricks, backside tricks, royales and all that stuff, I feel safe on that, honestly, because in case I fall, I know that I can fall just like a slide. But if I'm going to be skating a rail that I can actually fall fall completely different, not into the transition, but like fall flat, then it's it's trickier. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I think about this. I think I like them a lot for the speed. I don't think that I'm used to them yet to say that these are amazing. Speed wise, if you're looking for something, if, you, if you're really going to skate to skate park, it's going to be fast. If you want the fastest thing out there that I've tried, I don't know, man. I feel like this was one of the fastest things that I've tried. If I'm going to be doing simple tricks, just have, such as front side and back sides and stuff, I love this. I think it's going to be extremely cool for that type of skating. If I would go just to, to like to, to the Marseille Bowl or something like that, this would be probably an amazing option. But at the end of the day, if I'm gonna be skating a plaza like I just did, I don't think I would take it yet. Now, let me try these with the Solomon boots, with a different mounting, and I will report back in a couple of weeks. So, if you wanna see my opinions on these in a different boot, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video, even if it looks like I'm a little bit lost I am. I am lost in my thoughts with this product because I don't really know what I think about this.
So that's what I'm sharing with you. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you didn't like it, you can also drop me a comment and let me know what you didn't like. But if you like it, you can also drop me a comment and let me know what you like. Now, in case you were wondering, I am usually a size 43 and I don't know about this coming in different sizes other than these one. So I think it's a one size only and it costs 200 euros. I think it's about $250 or $240, something like that. In terms of weight, this one, just like that, without the uh, screws to fix it to the boot, but like wheels, axles, sole plate and frame, sole frame. 991 grams. 60 millimeter aluminum hubs wheels. This with 57 millimeter, no aluminum hubs, <laughs> with the Didi Dari frame and the shadow sole plates, 992. So 992, 900, there's like two grams difference. So it's not about the weight at all. It's more about the speed or about the predictability of the slides. Let me know what you prefer. I'll be here waiting to read your comments and to find out what you guys like the most. So with that being said, don't forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Cheers and see you soon. Now try to do a frame flip with this. <laughs> so when